Alice, definitely a foggy start to your morning. No sunshine here. Uh, we're checking out with meteorologist Kyle Roberts. Kyle, I remember way back when, when I used to work in Salisbury, Maryland, I mm -hmm. was the fill-in weather anchor oh, yeah, that's on right. good days, on good days. And I remember the meteorologist used to teach me how to read, you know, the fog, like yeah. less than a quarter mile, yeah, anything on 10 go. was like really good. So. Yeah. What is this? What are uh, we it's at? been less than a half a mile, Ooh, in a lot of places less than a quarter mile. Not and good. Yeah, no, it's pretty thick and soupy across uh, yes. portions of the area. You know, the recent rain that we had yesterday, lots of moisture in the air, you know, created the fog that we yep. have out there at the moment. We and, barely see out there. Uh, it should clear up as we head through the day today, okay. but uh, we do have some more storm chances uh, yet again. We just can't get through it. I know, and what's already been a rainy, uh, rainy spring for us, a rainy last couple of days it as well. Is. Here's one of the reasons why. So the, actually the pattern that we've had going back at least the past week or so is pretty typical for this time of the year for kind of a late spring early summer pattern. I guess just the problem with it is it's been on top of what already was a rainy spring for us. So it's kind of compounded the issues, especially when it's uh, come to the rainfall and the fact that, uh, you know, the ground's so saturated. So anything heavy that falls quickly turns into a flooding situation. We call it northwest flow because what happens is high pressure kind of moves off to the west southwest of us. This go around, it's kind of southwest of us. Sometimes it's a little more west, just kind of depends on the situation. But generally high pressure moves off to the west of us. That creates flow kind of around over the top of that high pressure ridge is what we'll call it. And that flow basically directs any thunderstorm activity into our area. Sometimes those storms form in the panhandle. West Texas I means sometimes they form in western North Texas and they kind of slide down through our area as we uh, head through the day or th head through the overnight hours. And I expect a round of those type of thunderstorms tonight across portions of the area, kind of a northwest flow complex of showers and storms. That's overnight tonight. Your rain chances to today are just kind of the pop up variety. In the meantime, foggy out there this morning, 71 at DFW Airport, but as of now, not causing any delays, no rain out of the fog, maybe a little drizzle here or there, but not worried about showers or storms this morning. Some pop up activity later on today. So remember yesterday it was kind of late morning, early to mid afternoon was when the showers and storms around today. I think it'll be a little bit later in the day, mid to late afternoon into the evening. Got to wait for the heat of the day. Got to wait for the fog to get out of here. There you go. Three o'clock, some scattered th showers and storms develop five o'clock. Not everybody sees them today, but if you find yourself underneath one, no doubt you'll know it because they'll have heavy rain and lightning and I can't rule out up to maybe some quarter sized hail and some strong wind gusts. Overall severe weather threats on the low side, but not completely zero, uh, kind of like we saw yesterday. Could have some strong winds, could have some isolated instances of uh, some hail. Here comes the round two of thunderstorms. This will be late tonight after midnight. This is activity that forms in the Panhandle or West Texas and moves into our area. Should be kind of weakening as it does so, but could have some gusty winds as that activity arrives between midnight and 3 a.m. Not like the activity we saw this when I'm talking about gusty winds. I'm not talking, you know, the 90 mile an hour winds that we saw Tuesday morning, 80 to 90 mile an hour. I'm talking maybe some 50 to 60 miles an hour uh, winds overnight tonight with those storms. But remember, that's not guaranteed for everybody. Just a chance of some gusty thunderstorms late tonight. Little lingering activity first thing tomorrow morning. So yeah, it's a one on a scale of five for severe weather threat today and tonight for some of that gusty wind and hail. We'll put coverage today about 30% and then up to up it to about 50-60% tonight. A little scattered rain possible tomorrow as well. Tuesday, the rain chances start to dry up and you can see how the temps go up. We'll be in the 90s most of the upcoming week and in the next weekend. But as some rain chances return uh, for the early part of the following week, temperatures do go down just a little bit with some highs back in the 80s.